What the heck is wrong with my life? I feel lost. Hello guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's such a nice day today. So I plan to get my hair cut done. I haven't cut my hair in such a while and so I wanted to uh, have it cut because it's already getting hot here in the Philippines and it's getting annoying knowing that you have a long hair and you live in such a hot country so now I'm just gonna cut it at least get it a little bit shorter or maybe just a trim not really that much of a change just wanted to cut out the unnecessary parts so yeah today's the first time that I actually use my camera for recording so I'm not pretty sure how this how well this could go but so far I'm enjoying it I don't know how I look though but it's worth it just trying to build my confidence talking to a camera <laughs> I'm pretty confident when I'm talking to some other people but in front of a camera I'm one of the most camera shy people you can ever know so I hope doing this can help me overcome that and help me become better when it comes to communicating in all different kinds of levels so Hello! <laughs> I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but I did my haircut already. I don't know if that's noticeable, but I just had it trimmed and shaved off the sides. Kind of like a two-block haircut, but most barber shops here aren't really that familiar with a two-block, so I just, I just say trim and make it look like an undercut. Yeah, kind of a slow day, but I'm trying to weather that. I'm almost home right now, so I'll see you guys when I get back home. Peace. Yes, it is a slow day. A day where you feel like your life feels nothing compared to the lives you see out there. They seem to have a lot to do, they seem to have a lot of plans, and they're all materializing. And then you begin to ask yourself, what the heck is wrong with my life? I feel lost. But honestly, slow days are very important days. Why? Here's why. On those kinds of days, it's easy to feel lost. As if you don't know what to do next. And let me tell you, it's okay. It's actually one of the best times to take a breather and just rest. It helps you to separate yourself from reality for a while. And just be able to think and realign yourself with What's really important? Your goal. On times where none of your peers actually want to go out with you to save you from this misery that is a slow day, 
why not spend time with yourself? It's not every day your friends or your family are at your beck and call. They all have their own lives to live, just like you. So what do I have to do? Find ways to entertain yourself. Do a little bit of everything, you know, whatever that makes you laugh, cry, smile, or even dance around. You know, watch a movie, look at funny videos, listen to music you like, anything that would boost you up, as long as it's healthy. Which leads me to my next point. Why in the world is this guy talking about doing something on a slow day when he already knows how hard it is to find motivation at times like this? I agree, but if you are at this certain point, embrace it. Don't gloat over the fact that you're too tired to do anything. It's perfectly normal. You know yourself better than anyone else in this world does. Don't go looking at other people's lives and expect your life to go the same way as well. Life isn't always up. You have to be there also when it's down. Being still and not doing anything are two different things. Not doing anything is just merely helping you go through the situation without much of a thought. You're not present mentally. While being still is a state of our mind where we are in total control of ourselves and knowing that this probably isn't the right time to make a move. You absorb and you reflect whatever is in front of you and then you make a move. Now, don't get me wrong, both are perfectly fine. One leads you to temporarily regaining your balance and the other leaves you renewed. If you feel like you need just a typical break, then just scroll through Facebook, Twitter, and all other things just to pass the time. But if you feel like you really need to get a hold of yourself, then allow yourself to absorb whatever it is that you're going through. You need to love your lows as much as you love your highs. I'm pretty sure, one way or another, you're going to find an answer. Until then, see you next time.